Hello everyone, welcome back to the Violet Hour. I'm Belisium and today we are continuing with Corpse Party. And in fact, we are starting a brand new chapter. I am very excited about this because uh, it looks as though in the previous chapter we got, I think, three out of five endings that we could get. So in this chapter, Oh, and it doesn't even have a say. Wait, hold on. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have an endings list. I have to, I have to share this with you all because I'm very excited about this. Ending number one, Seiko hangs herself, leaving Naomi behind. So we were able to receive that ending, which I don't know if it's good or bad or other. Ending number two, we have not achieved, which, oh, there's four of them. So we got, I think, two. Uh, wrong ending number two. Attacked and enveloped by a black mist-like spirit. And then number four, we are missing. So we have two endings that we didn't get in chapter one. And that, to me, is kind of exciting. Uh, the reason it's kind of exciting is because it makes me want to go back over and do the chapter uh, in the future. Uh, so yeah, I like I like stuff like that. I like having multiple endings, multiple chat, uh, multiple uh, forkings and stuff. But we are going to move forward into chapter two, but with this newfound information that we have, I would like to uh, try and get all the bad endings because you know me, I love a good death run. View the chapter opening. Yes, of course. All right, movie time, guys. <sighs> Whew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishima. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse? Oh. Naomi, that is one of the prettiest sights. Huh? What is? That booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means that when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with these greatest of ease. Oh, I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. Oh, yes. Her fat ass is the reason she is good with children. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Oh, I need a guy to do that? Hmm. I mean, it is 2024. I don't know why we would need that anymore, but okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
I'm not voice acting that. You guys know how that goes. You understand. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Oh, they're all together. Shinazaki, it's all right. Please, calm down. <laughs> but, but you heard it too. Outside, her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was just the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? It's okay, teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinazaki. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, or... Better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance, until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. Look! She'll be fine, jeez! I'm counting on you, Kishiyuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like 
if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. Valor, thy name is education. Oh, and we are into the game. All right. Uh, so one of the things I did want to say uh, that I didn't get the opportunity to say uh, previously, or maybe I did in the last episode, I don't remember. Um, the voice acting in this game is really, really good. Um, like really good. And I feel uh, inept and totally like I am doing a disservice by voicing over. So what I've been doing is allowing them to speak and then trying to kind of emulate uh, the feeling and intonement that they are portraying. I'm doing a terrible job. I am aware. I am so sorry if you guys are not enjoying that. Um, but I want to allow them to speak and do their thing because the voice acting is so good. Uh, and I am doing my best as someone who is not professionally trained as a voice actor to try and bring it into an English um, commentary for you all. So uh, you don't have to read along, you can listen. Um, so I hope that you guys all enjoy uh, my uh, voiceovers. Um, again, I am allowing them to do their part so that you guys get the feeling of the game. Um, and only reading it in English out loud, just for those of you who don't really want to read or uh, basically follow me, but by like uh, putting me on in the background and listening to my gameplay style. Um, I've gotten quite a few comments that people do really enjoy uh, listening to me read um, uh, the game commentary. Um, so uh, yes, <laughs> I guess basically, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please let me know. It it um, you know helps me know if I'm doing kind of the right thing with games um, and if I'm making them enjoyable for you all. Um, if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. And uh, again, let me know. And maybe in the next chapter, I will not voice over and we'll try doing it with just their voice acting. Because again, uh, I think right now, my absolute favorite thing about this game is the voice acting. Uh, the voice acting is just that good and uh, I, I'm really into it. Um, return home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Uh, so a couple things that I will not be voicing over is sound effects. So where there are places where they go oh, and things along those lines, uh, I'm going to try to avoid uh, doing myself. I'm going to allow their uh, sound effects to be the sound effects. Um, and also uh, things like no! will not be by me. <laughs> Maybe once in a while we'll throw one of my own in just for a little bit of comedic effect. But for the most part, I I'm gonna I'm gonna let their stuff kind of do its thing. Um, yeah, so I um I just wanted to kind of like make sure that you guys uh, understand what you're in for. <laughs> A disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf to overflowing. Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Mmm, maggots! <laughs> um... Nineteen seventy three, nine eighteen. Heavenly Post Breaking News Serial Kidnapping Ends in Murder. 
Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, an investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have ever anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within a Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appear to have had its tongue severed and removed. E mutilations far too gr to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. I heard something about this once before. But... I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. <gasps> Ooh, the door opened for us! Yay! I'm good with that. Are you guys good with that? I'm so good with it. You, yeah, I don't want that. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna we're gonna just kind of look at the everything else. Okay. It's a key, isn't it? A label on the key reads three A. Take it. Ah uh, yes, please. An old key with three A written on it seems fail fairly rusted but should still turn. All right, let me in. No teachers allowed on the third floor. Why not? What are you guys doing up there? I, wa I wanna be a part of it, guys. I wanna play too. Okay. Classroom 3A. The door is now unlocked. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, hold on. Okay, I guess there was nothing to that door opening all by itself. I could have I could have gone through it, but that's okay. <clears throat> Look at that that lonely chair sitting over in the corner. A poor chair. Ah! <laughs> well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back at 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see. Regrettable. That won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. 
Which means you two can never meet. If one of your... If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. Consider this a fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's scream emanated, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say that you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or, perhaps, it occurred in another space many hours previously. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? <sighs> With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore the agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Huh. So, uh, wow. We've got multiple paralleling dimensions within closed spaces. That is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like that a lot. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement, kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc., all appearing unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. That's kind of weird, and I'm feeling very uncomfortable by this cabinet having a lot of sharp, heavy objects. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Excuse me? <laughs> um... Step aside. <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporeal? Of course. Love the foreshadowing. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all. Are you a school teacher? All you care about is your own well-being. You're 
You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. You're all the same, every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem amongst your kids, you just keep your distance, because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once! You... You're... Wrong! All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Come again? They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know? When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forever. Ask me to spare you. 
It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Nah, spare my students. Don't you harm a hair on their heads! You hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. Uh, I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Aw, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Every... body... live. I love... you all. Meanwhile, Whoa, another earthquake? Ooh, it's messing with the electricity again. I think it's over. What's wrong? I... I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Yu! What if she comes back while we're gone? And we miss each other along the way? We're going! Uh, all right. All right. Uh, already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? <laughs> How about we leave her a note? Shinazaki, do you have anything I could write with? Um, I've got a pen. But no paper. Huh. Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Mm, blunt. And kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave a message at all, you know. <laughs> but she might be in trouble! 
Okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. All right, and now it's our turn to play. Um, the shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. The door is nailed shut and the nails are hammered in tight. It's not going to open through any normal means. What if we throw a table at it? Okay, so we can't actually go down this way into the room. Okay. Day duty. Kuo Sungji? Sun? A heavenly host elementary noticed all faculty and students due to the recent kidnappings. Caution is highly recommended during all daily activity. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly. So please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takiyami. I don't know why I said his name like that. <laughs> Takiyami. I got very excited. I see a bucket. Gross. I think we saw that bucket before, hence the reason I didn't read it. Wait, how do we get that? Shiny object? I want. Oh, we're gonna totally be able to get that. That's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a thing in our lives, guys. Whatever that purple shiny object is, expect it. I know the teacher went north, that's why I'm going south, because I feel like... What's up? I... I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't... Intimately familiar with them, right? You're kidding. There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisagari for a reason. So how about... We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. They'll be like a signal flares for Mochida and the others. Letting them know that you, me, and Miss Shi Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Y yeah, I, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay! So she... She's placing down our saves. Oh, and we can use it even when she places it down. <gasps> yes. Oh, I love that. Oh, they like, they transfer through the dimensions. Oh, I like that a lot. Also, I just realized if they gave us a save point right there, that means that, that um, we're going to come across things now that we don't want to see. Like a, like a very bad ending, perhaps. So, yeah. Foreshadowing. We put a save point here for a reason. We weren't just being nice to you. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Oh, that was like a really nice message. I was waiting for the, the horrible 
you know, will end up eating you when they starve or something, you know, like bad, bad stuff. Okay. We've seen the shoes before. We know, we know. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Th these are human bones. Uh, are you okay? Shinazaki? I'll be fine. I'm just... Hyperventilating a little. <laughs> Come on, we have to find Miss Yu. Oh, yeah. Satoshi, what do you need in the eyes? I give up. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinosaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around here for? Let's get out of here! Uh, alright. Already. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Kazami. Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Oh, okay. Judging by the size and appearance, we have yet another high school student, and they have an IID badge. Tomohari. Okay. Look at that. We got another name badge. Masato Fukio, maybe? Fukio. Kikari something. There's a lot going on here. I'm sort of kind of regretting coming down here because there's just so much to explore. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go back. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go back. I know you guys are super curious about what it is I just saw, but the thing is, right? Um, we've got a lot of places to go. Which is a little concerning to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish upstairs because it looks like that's actually where we're supposed to be going and exploring. And I did it wrong. So we're going to go north first. Uh, up towards where the teacher was. Did we go in here? Yeah. Oh, weird. This is where it said no teachers allowed. We can go up here. Oh, God. Gosh darn it all. Okay. You know what? This is going to be like a whole thing, isn't it? Okay. 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 Don't do anything you'll regret. Think of your mother and your father. Remember their faces. 
You only have one life to live. Make it count. Do not waste the precious gift of existence. Why would they need a flyer for this? Yeah, seriously. Who's gonna kill themselves in here? I'd rather find my way out. Uh, yeah, I mean, true, but also, maybe, maybe it was just a... You know, a flyer to express YOLO. <laughs> this is where our teacher was. No, it wasn't. I lied. I lied, okay? A disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each cell to overflowing. Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Yes, I am kind of power reading through all of this. I am sorry. The door seems affixed to the wall. Like a model, it cannot be opened. Oh, okay. So it opened for her, but they're not going to open it for us. Okay. This is exactly the same thing that we read before. Okay. Uh, I didn't read it because I've already read it when the teacher came in through here. So this room is what it is. Uh, we can't open that door. But then she went over here. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Yui, where are you? I'm really worried. So we can't even go and like talk to Miss Yui because she's uh, trapped there. Or she's in another dimension and that's not even like an option for us. Okay. Again, like I said, I do sort of suspect that down is the right direction. And so I'm going up in hopes that it's going to kind of dead end real quickly for us but maybe it won't. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. Mmm, not good with that. Whoa, this is the place, guys. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. A crude picture seemingly drawn by a child adorns one of the shelves. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult and merrily stabbing him to death. How unsettling. Yeah. So... Awkward. What was... What the... Ouch! Didn't hurt us, though. Oh, like we just, like, straight can't go there? Cool. Alright, well... Cool. Huh. So maybe we need something to be able to enter through that doorway. And we've already looked at everything here, right? That was the dead end. We looked through that area. Uh, so let's go back down where we were we were at. Um, and who doesn't love a good save? I mean, come on. It's kind of the best, really. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop now. 
it won't open. I'm kind of okay with that, honestly. The door seems affixed to the wall. Okay. Okay, okay. Custodian's closet. The door is locked. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. I remember that. I remember that being a thing. Okay, well... There's a hastily written note on the ground. It's re... Its writer seems to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. I... Sister... -er. It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No! 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 Sis. You lied to me. You're gonna leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Wow. Um, I mean, we saved. Right? So it's okay. I can, like... Hey. I hate you, sister. It hurts. Okay. So cool. Well, I don't know what to do with that information. Hopefully that was okay for me to do that. Uh, and I didn't just like damn her soul. Uh, hello? There are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. Um, okay, and then they don't have, like, an ID, or... Oh, they do. Okay, so we were able to get the name tag. Victim's Memoirs, one of five. I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided, together, that one of us should try to live... Just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissor, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst, and her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be my purse. This food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying. And I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me, even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion 
of my sanity. Whew, that was a rough one. What the What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hey, Shinazaki. My head is splitting. Are you... Are you okay? <laughs> mm, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> we really shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in here, though, in the back. Um, nineteen three, nineteen eighty four is temper sebit on the eight and ten day y y fifteen three three u i don't know what that means w what the hell oh i'm so excited about this this is awesome are you guys about as excited as I am about going down this long haul? Cause boy, am I excited! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Don't scare me like that, jeez! <laughs> you absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? You okay? We're just gonna absolutely positively not look into your eyes, okay, dude? A rusted blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. I'm gonna take it and hope that this ghost doesn't chase me. Found a classroom 4A it's a plain rusted nail puller made of iron. Cool. I like it. Later. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not good with that. Basement. The door has been nailed shut, and it's unlikely to be opened. Do not allow any person to enter, said the principal of the elementary school. Can I use a nail puller on it? No. Okay. Well, that's cool. I was, like, having one eye on the door. The door seems affixed to the wall. Okay. Oh, where's that door that has the... Uh, like, that's nailed shut? Uh, you are locked, right? Door is locked. There's an erratic noise. Okay. Cool story.
どうしたんだよ。What is it? Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any of the sound effects, but like, honestly, I, I wanna I wanna try this one. So, <clears throat> excuse me, will I get prepared? Was that good? All right, uh, definitely leave a comment uh, below if that was on target because I feel like I did good. I feel like I nailed it. Hey, Shinazaki, where are you going? Also, why'd you knock me over? What the hell was that all about? Was she just possessed just now? Oh, tell me she was just possessed just now. Did she just come down here? She did. Yo! Hey, Shinazaki, there you are. What are you do? Ooh. No one is saying that. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. What are you doing? That's disgusting. Why are you both looking at me like that? Yeah, she's definitely possessed by ghosts, guys. I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. Either that or she's lost her mind and she's going insane. One of the two. But I, I wanna go with ghost possession because, well, we've seen a lot of ghosts so far, you know. Shinozaki. Sh Oi. Sh Shinozaki. Hey. Hmm? Kishinama? What's wrong? Uh, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Hmm? Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. Uh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Mm. Yeah, I feel super good with that conversation. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, Is the world behind your back still there? You know, I ask myself that every day. It's usually when I roll over in bed and go, hmm, if I, if I roll over, do I still have to go to work? Does the world still exist? Oh, yeah, it's still here, all right. And then I get up and I put my pants on like everyone else. I don't know what you all do, but that's what I do. Da, da, da. I will say I do appreciate the fact that like while it does like allow me to sort of like look at the everything they didn't fill in every space with like a ton of stuff with a ton of dialogue. Um, sometimes I, I find with like games it gets like way too uh, excessive where they're like that's a chair where you sit that's a table where you you know whatever eat your dinner and you're like yeah i can see that it's a table or i can see that that's a desk you don't have to have commentary just because i, I interacted with it the front entrance way might as well be painted on it's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open sweet that's the kind of stuff i like to hear victims memoirs I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body, a piece of a person 
who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head. And now, I'm walking around school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. And I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. story bro I'm really liking where this is going are we gonna meet this person are we is this is this the thing is this the foreshadowing that we're going to come across this student with an eyeball in their hand because they ate their friend oh I almost thought he went, wee. Am I screwed? Was this supposed to happen? What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinazaki, Ms. Yui, Satoshi. Is anyone there? Man, where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? I... Can't move. It feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? What the? Who's? Oh, um. S stop! Dirt and gravel from above. Oh, I'm being buried alive? Stop! The hell? I'm alive down here! You planning to suffocate me? Oh, 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 oh. My mouth is getting totally filled up. This isn't funny. Stop it. My arms are really hurting.
What? Wait, 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 hold on. Did we just get one of the bad endings? Oh, we missed the first one. Buried alive. Ah, we got one of the bad endings. I don't know what I did to make it a bad ending. Mm, not excited about that, actually. Okay, um, I am going to try and speed run through all of this and I will bring you guys back. Uh, actually, I will, I will bring you guys back in the next episode. So I will get us caught back up to the point where we were. Uh, I'll try to do most of everything the same. I don't know what I'll need to change to try and make it better, but, uh, yeah, I will, I'll get everything kind of done and then uh, in the next episode we will start from maybe hopefully having a conversation with Yumi about her going crazy. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode. I do hope that you all enjoyed. I hope that uh, my voice acting was not too much, uh, too over the top or too much for you guys. I, uh, like I said, I feel... Um, very lacking in my abilities as someone to do voiceovers when uh, I'm working with a game that has some really incredible and talented voice actors uh, doing the lines. So uh, I'm trying to do my very best to not do a disservice to this game and the voice actors who've um, voiced these characters, uh, but also trying to have fun with it and make it entertaining for you all as well as maybe even a little bit less scary um <laughs> for myself mostly because i'm playing this all alone in my room and it's dark and i don't like it uh but yes uh thank you guys for joining me leave a comment below did i do a good job did you enjoy yourselves let me know it helps me uh if nothing else, it gives me the encouragement to continue to go on and make these kinds of videos for you. Um, but that's going to do it. Thank you again for joining me and sticking with me through this game. I do hope that you will join me in the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinozaki. Do you have any more of those candles, like the ones you lit during the ghost story? I, I do. How will be... How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. Ah, cool. We're going to save that. <laughs>